March 17, 1868 Women wish to be loved without a why or a wherefore, not because they are pretty or good or well-bred or graceful or intelligent, but because they are themselves. All analysis seems to them to imply a loss of consideration, a subordination of their personality to something which dominates and measures it. They will have none of it, and their instinct is just. As soon as we can give a reason for a feeling, we are no longer under the spell of it. We appreciate, we weigh, we are free, at least in principle. Love must always remain a fascination, a witchery, if the empire of woman is to endure. Once the mystery gone, the power goes with it. Love must always seem to us indivisible, insoluble, superior to all analysis if it is to preserve that appearance of infinity, of something supernatural and miraculous which makes its chief beauty. The majority of beings despise what they understand and bow only before the inexplicable. The feminine triumph par excellence is to convict of obscurity that virile intelligence which makes so much pretense to enlightenment. And when a woman inspires love, it is then especially that she enjoys this proud triumph. I admit that her exaltation has its grounds. Still, it seems to me that love, true and profound love, should be a source of light and calm, a religion and a revelation, in which there is no place left for the lower victories of vanity. Great souls care only for what is great, and to the spirit which hovers in the sight of the infinite, any sort of artifice seems a disgraceful purility.